Backed by popular demand, it's the one and only Frex from the Frex Zone. Hello everybody, sorry I haven't been around lately. Uh, I was actually in Denver, Colorado at a FEMA training camp. Did I say that? FEMA training camp. Anyway, I was there getting trained on how to do inspections during disasters. Anyway, while I was there, I was able to obtain two training videos. You're going to want to watch these. They're very, very interesting. It's going to answer a lot of questions for a lot of people out there. Here at the Frex Zone, I had several of our analysts look at these um, videos, and uh, they came up with two conclusions. One, FEMA inspectors may have a low IQ. Number two, um, and this is kind of bad, but um, they may be slow learners. Okay, anyway, you watch the videos, you decide, and see what kind of answers you come up with, okay? And remember, I had to obtain these videos uh, on the sly, on the skinny, maybe. Anyway, they were appropriated from the FEMA camp in Denver, Colorado. And they may have gotten a little bit damaged, but uh, hopefully you'll watch it through its entirety because it's definitely entertaining and it'll answer a lot of your questions. From the Freck Zone, have a great day and a better tomorrow. Inspection class 101. Today we're going to build a bridge and go over the components of a bridge. <clears throat> First of all, we have our embutments. Then we have our support structure here, which may be I beams, trees, logs, wood beams, whatever. Then we have our wing walls, as you can see noted in blue. And we'll get our wing walls. Behind these wing walls, we would have dirt in here in your approach shot to get over the bridge. Anyway, let's get our wing walls in here. Having a little technical difficulty. This one seems to be a little bigger. Okay, now that we have those in place, we're going to put the decking down. And we'll be back in a second here as soon as we get that all in place. And we're back. And now we have the decking on. So, let's go over these one more time. Can you say wing wall? Can you say decking? Can you say support beam? And last but not least, can you say embutment under here in red? Those are the basic components of our bridge. You would put these in comments and write on them on your computer screen in comments. Now, why don't we go out into the field and see an actual bridge sustaining a disaster. And we're back and we have found a bridge out in the middle of nowhere. And once again, we have our planking and decking here. We have our wing walls here. We also have on the abutment here and right underneath here are the two beams that carry the whole decking. And we also have our approach fill here, which is very important, especially these wing walls. That's what the wing walls do is hold the approach dirt in. So once the approach is all set up, do 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 you know, we're able to drive up onto the bridge, do 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 drive across safely and back across the other side. Now, in some occasions, we do have a natural disaster. Can you say disaster? Okay, now, unfortunately on this disaster, all of the components of the bridge have been damaged, so we won't be able to put into comments that some of them are reusable. For example, if the embutments were still in place, there's no thing over here though, um, we could still use them. But since they're not, we... <laughs> I'm kidding. But since they're not, we're going to have to rebuild this whole bridge. You go into comments and you use the measurements for every part, you know, your embutments, for your wing walls, you use the measurements. Um, also for your support beams, your planking that was used. Now if all this had washed away, then just use your best judgment of what's there. Talk to the applicant, ask them what was there. Anyway, that is basically our bridge inspection class 101. Hopefully you understand it. Are there any questions?